Yes. I am here. Troy Clement is here, leading the Square Eye Syndrome podcast today with the lovely, the vivacious, the beautiful Tara Chloe. Hello, it is I, the Wicked Witch. Yes. If you can't see, I'm literally bowing down to this woman right now. This is what I'm doing right now. I'm like, yes, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy, but I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Because Ben decided not to show up. Last ben minute. Gibson. Oh, another no show once again. Oh, my, this guy. Yeah. Oh, my. <sighs> checking them ages. I don't know what he's doing in his spare time, checking them ages. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, Helen, she is uh, not here either because she's literally um, moving. So, she's just getting her stuff ready, you know. She's just doing her little thing. So, I'm going to go too hard on Helen. She, you know what I'm saying? So, I'll go hard on Ben. I'll go hard on Ben because Ben deserves it. But Helen, mm-hmm. I'll go easy on Helen. I'll go easy on Helen. Helen, wherever you are, stay safe. Hey. So, we're going to get into this, my beautiful people. Against this, uh, who was a review, I should say, of the TV shows we have seen up to this week. So, I'm trying to think, well, should, we, should, we go, should we go movies or TV show? I'm trying to think, what do you want to do? Tara, right, right, what do you want to do today? Do you want to start off with something else straight away? Or, yeah, well, um, I have been following up with this series called Never Have I Ever because I understand Ooh. that, yeah, season. I've been watching it since the pandemic and uh, season three was actually released today. So I find the series actually pretty interesting. So um, it's yeah. about um, like, you know, an American high school teen life. So <laughs> I think I'm going to talk about it. Never have I ever. Mm. Yeah. Sounds familiar. No, okay. All right. So yeah, I've seen I've seen the uh trailers for it. Yeah. Okay. This is everywhere. Mm-hmm. Okay. What and what are you gonna talk about? Oh me? No, um I'm, so you're gonna talk about never ever ever and I'm gonna talk about oh my god, I don't know if I'm gonna say this. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll say I'll say I'll say I'll say it. I went old school. I'm bringing something back. From the past, a blast from the past, from teen drama days, early two thousands. Mhm. Which is? And it is. Pretty Little Liars. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I know about it. Yeah. These I just ran through season one, literally about a couple of days. I ran through season one. I was like, hey, oh, oh my god, it's good. It's good. Oh. I can't believe how good this this show actually is. Mm, um, yeah, I, I, I tried to do I just thought about it. So I was like, so because I saw that the original sin, that brand new one that just came out, pretty large original sin. And I was like, it's very horror based. Mm-hmm. Like, like a horror um, slasher type of thing. And I was mm-hmm. like, nah, let's just go back and watch the original uh, pretty large just to kind of see because they, they have got Easter eggs in that, in that show. And the brand mm-hmm. new one, I want to see where, where it goes and what um, certain characters might show up in there. So I don't want to go in there cold. So I went back just to um, kind of run through pretty little lies, the original show. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll uh, check it out, check it out. So season one, um, oh, do, you want to, do, you want to go, do you want to go first with your pick? Or you uh, to... Yeah, maybe I can go with it. I'll let you go, i go. Yeah, okay. So uh, basically this show, Never Have I Ever, it's an American like teen drama. Mm-hmm. And it actually uh, focuses on high school life, you know. None other than, you know, uh, California, where is it? Yeah, Sherman Oaks in California. So uh, this show actually circles around a a girl called Devi. She's an Indian-American teenager. So uh, her parents are actually immigrants from America, and her dad is obsessed with America, California. 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 And living the California dream and all in America. But um, he actually... Okay, so the, the show begins where he actually passes away. And uh, so his daughter, Devi, is like, you know, like not happy and traumatized by his death. I, I'm not sure what happened because I think he got a heart attack or something. 
Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I mean, so Devi, I mean, she's just a normal high school girl. So, you know, like they have the freshman year, her dad passed away in freshman year and um, she had a socially horrible freshman year. Like yeah. due to trauma, she couldn't walk for three months. So she was put on a wheelchair. Yeah. And then one day she miraculously recovered and stand up again when she saw her crush called Paxton Hall Yoshida. Yeah, he's half Japanese. And... Uh, so you, I think it's quite silly, right? You saw a guy that you like and then suddenly you can like walk again. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, but, you never know, so hey, you can have yeah, you know, medic, like, oh, medic, I need to, I need to get this one. Yeah. yeah. So, Medically yeah, possible. It, yeah. So, so like typical teen, after having a horrible freshman year, in her other remaining years of high school, she tries to change her, you know, like their social status, what they're obsessed about, like um popularity, having a boyfriend and all those, you know, like issues in American high school. So um okay, so that's what the show's about. So other than that, there are interesting characters, like uh she has two best friends who is what their names are oh uh, yeah fabiola and eleanor she has two best friends and i don't understand throughout the series uh she only tends to go on about herself and <laughs> her friends are always like yeah you're like helping her out and everything revolves around her crush paxton like paxton this paxton that Oh, oh, my God, like this person, oh, my God, like that kind of thing. Yes, yeah, and let's go into Paxton. So, um, he's actually half Japanese, and, you know, he's one of those typical stupid high school. In the beginning of the series, he starts off as, like, a typical stupid high school jock, but it at the locker with his friends, banging the locker, making noise, <laughs> and flexing his muscles. You know, like, what jocks do, just, right? That, that's the reason why, like, I watch too many American high school movies, like, somehow I had a very, I have a very bad impression of jocks, to be honest. And he's a douchebag and all. And he's a jock, you know, he probably doesn't bathe. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, and oh and he played a lot of roles, and I I don't understand why Debbie likes him. Is it the fact that uh he's handsome, he has a nice body, six pack? By the way, Paxton is actually played by um Darren Barnett. I mean, if you guys were to Google him and oh what the fuck, he's a is sixteen he, is year. He, um, is he a titty man? Sorry, is he a titty man? Is he, he is a titty man. Definitely a oh titty man. God. And apparently on the 100 most handsome men on the world, he was actually in the list, one of the, I think, top 30, I think, yeah. So, oh, and guess what? One hole also made that list, the ultimate titty man. So, uh, okay, so apparently he's a 16-year-old high school junior student. And like, what the fuck? You're bloody 16 and you have a goddamn sick pack. So, you know what? He People are, are literally like kids to me. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Things, yeah, to me, they're like small kids. I'm like, yo, okay. But I understand if you're 30 and you have a six pack or 28 or 25 and have a six pack. But uh, if you're 16, I'm like, dude, aren't you still growing? Aren't you still drinking milk? <laughs> oh, wow, drinking milk. Uh, uh, I'm not an expert in bodybuilding, but I heard that uh, you shouldn't do it at an age too early while you're growing because it can stun your growth if you carry weights then i'm not sure i'm not a doctor so yeah i just yeah, to say they say if you doing too much weights when you're young they say you can stun your growth they say that to me but you never know i don't know if it's true or not yeah for that i'm i'm not sure actually because i'm not a doctor so yeah, yeah. okay so and then uh let's move on so paxton had many hot girls in the past so in in a way he's just a fairy tale boyfriend for her. And other than that, we have Devi's parents. There is Purna, P-O-R-N-A, her mother, who is a who is more of a fresh off the boat <laughs> despite living in America for so long. <laughs> but yeah. the husband, yeah, his name is Mohan. Uh that's Devi's father. He's more Americanized. He likes the American dream. And then we have Kamala, a Devi's cousin that actually comes from India and she's a PhD student. And, uh, and I think when she arrives, she's a bit more like 
fog fresh off the boat, but as the series progresses, she becomes a bit more like Americanized. Ah, yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is really pretty though for Kamala. Her name is Richa M. Moore Jani. Yeah, she's yeah, she's really pretty. Yeah. So <laughs> and then we have the rival called Ben Gross. His surname is really gross and he is a douchebag. And uh he thinks he's better than everyone else. I mean, this guy is actually a genius, but um, you know, some genius people think they are better than everyone else. I don't yeah, know. Yeah. 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 Mm. yeah. Okay. So we're gonna go into season one, where um, so uh, throughout the series, actually, uh, Davy tries to be popular in high school and all. Yes. And then um, yeah, yeah. let's see. Yes, this is in season one. So uh, in season one, she yes, has a, uh, <laughs> she keeps dreaming about having sex with Paxton, and she's so obsessed with it. But it never really happens. Even now, into season three, I mean, I've only watched season three halfway. They still haven't had sex yet, to be honest. Like, <laughs> so in uh, season one, she keeps trying to be popular and keeps trying to chase. Paxton and uh, I mean she's still traumatized over her father's death actually yeah so um, okay and but however something actually happens that at the end of season one she ends up dating her rival Ben Gross just kind of um, don't know why she dated him so so then we go into season two where she's dating Ben and somehow she managed to date Paxton at the same time as well. I don't know what happened, but she had two boyfriends at the same time, which is a very what bad idea. That? Yeah, it's not funny at all. I, I mean, I mean, they found out eventually. And of course, they were both mad at her. And then after that, season two focuses on her and Paxton. So, um, okay, so... After that, uh, because at the end of season one, when you know her father dies, and then the mother's like, um, I think they we should they want I mean the mother wanted to move her back to India because she thinks like uh Davy is so Americanized and wild, she doesn't listen. Maybe if I send her back to India, she will listen for a while, become tame. But yeah, yeah send her back, send her back to get to America. Yeah, I, I think that's the you know the perception that uh, some immigrant parents in America get like uh or even in the UK get like oh my my child was born here that uh because I think when I was living in the UK I had like immigrant friends as well from mm. Asia. Yeah. And um like you know be it Vietnamese or so on. Yeah and they'll say I know they told me the parents will say things like um oh okay this son he's born here he's not very uh well, wow, like the Asian country, he's more wild, more westernized, something like that. Yeah. You know, say things like if you're born in Asia, like your elder brother or sister, you would behave differently. Yeah, so maybe they have that perception, like by bringing them back to Asia, they would behave. Yeah, because in those kind of like countries, yeah, when you're, you know, yeah. your homeland, then you, 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 like, you ain't going to do that kind of stuff over here. You know, over there, you can't do it over here. Exactly. Yeah, so uh, I think, to be honest, I think Devi would be more miserable if she went to India because <laughs> she's so Americanized, actually. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I think I think she'll be quite miserable because the way she acts is like a complete American teenager. So that's at the end of season one. She doesn't want to follow her mom to India. So that's when she actually runs away to Ben Gross' house and stays there for a while. And uh, season one actually ends when, when they scatter the father's ashes, like, you know, the Malibu Sea, the place where he likes, basically. And uh, so season two starts with, um, yeah, Davy and Ben dating, and then there's Paxton as well. So season two, we actually see a lot of, like, you know, character development. So Paxton is actually mad, and uh, he somehow he ends up breaking an arm because he gets knocked down by a car. And he actually makes use of Devi, like saying that if you want to get back together with me, you had to, you have to do things like you know to do my homework, 
and you know in America they have this like extra credit and all to to get into college which is basic yeah, yeah, yeah. university yeah you have to help me in my extra credit so in season two we actually see uh to be honest Dewi can be pretty selfish actually like having two boyfriends and there are times where she actually ditch her friends Eleanor and uh, Fabiola to go and meet Paxton when her friends really need her because uh, Eleanor's mom in this I think the second season something abandoned her and came back to, to LA for a while and after that she abandons her and goes to New York to pursue her dream so that's when she really needed Davy around but Davy didn't go she went to Paxton's house instead so that's when they got pretty angry at her. I think it's not really nice, you know, teaching your true friends for, you know, someone who doesn't really care about you at that stage yet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I mean... So you, you go with the new thing, the shiny new thing, and you forget about the old friends, you know what I'm saying? Forget about them. It's like, yeah, the old family. Yeah, yeah. at a certain age, like, I guess I would know that. Yeah. And um, so in season two, we actually see a lot of, like, uh, career development. Like, Oh, sorry, not career development, like character development. Like, yeah, Paxton, yeah. for example, he's a stupid dumb jock who gets bad grades, zeros, basically. And uh, the college count, the counselor in school will ask him, have you decided which college to apply for yet? Because he broke his arm, so he cannot swim anymore and get extra credit. Right. Because he was angry, standing in the middle of the road, and a car knocked him down. And kind of, it was Davy's fault, because he chased after her or something, I don't know, then... uh. Yeah, so um, he changes his life, turns it around, and tries to put in more extra credit and all. And he even does his homework, because um, he, he even does his homework and everything, which is funny, because I never really see jocks doing homework. So this is really one funny season <laughs> too. Like, uh, Paxton came over to Davy's house, and um, I think Davy was tutoring him. So Davy's mom and grandmother came to the room and say, oh, they said to her, you must always keep the door open when there's a boy around. Yeah. And then the grandmother came and said, oh, it's a boy. He's very handsome. And then at that point in time, I think they were fangirling over him as well. So I'm like, yo, people. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's that super handsome, but I'm like, uh, okay. But besides, he was only he. I mean, the actor is. Hey, wait, what, what, what you? What you rate him as? Because you're, you're, you're the 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 queen, the queen. So um, you've got, you've got rating him okay, okay. Queen. So basically, the actor Darren Barnett, he's born in 1991. Mm. So uh, yeah, I think he's one year older than me. If I'm, if I'm not wrong. And uh, basically, he's supposed to be 16 in that show, and he's underage, and they were kind of like sexualizing him. Mm. A 16 year old guy. Yeah, but in real life, he's in his 30s now, I think. But still, sexualizing a 16 year old guy in the show, it's romanticizing high school jobs that have not even gone through puberty and still have a very imbalanced mental state of mind. I don't know, but uh, all those movies. Yeah. I start to question actually what it really looked like in high school. <laughs> you start to think about it like. Yes, they put actors oh, like you know American Pie, uh, Chris Evans, and you know yeah. all those actors. So I'm like, dude, I don't think that's how like sixteen year olds look like, right? In real life, they're still going through puberty. To be frank. Yeah, I'll go to America. I don't see, I don't see this. I see the American life. I don't think like let's say if we look back on our. O levels time, like people who are sixteen and all. Do you think they look like that? No, right? Heck no. Yeah, Heck exactly. No. Yeah, yeah. It's just bullshit. So, okay, and um, okay. So, uh, season two, yeah, we see a lot of character development. So, uh, Paxton actually has a sister who has Down syndrome called Rebecca, mm. and she scolds him for being mean to Davy. Like uh, saying things like, oh, she's actually a very nice girl, you know, you should this and you should that. So because she has Down syndrome, so he is extra protective over her and he kind of listens to her. Yeah. So now yeah. I am actually into season three. So uh, they are, so David and Paxton actually have a very uh, rocky relationship. It's not because of him, he's trying to change, but it's mainly because of her. Because uh, she's actually quite insecure, like, uh, 
she thinks she's a dorky, nerdy Indian girl dating the hottest guy in school. So she keeps having this kind of insecurity, like, um, why would he want me? His exes are hotter and this and that. Yeah, so when I was actually watching the show, right, the things she did and everything, I'm, like, saying that, uh, internally thinking, like, I don't know how I was psychic, like, I kind of knew how things would go out or predict. Because in season three, apparently Paxton had a longtime friend called um, Haley, and after having sex with her one day, he just ignored her the whole day and ghosted her. Because I think that's how young guys behave, right? When they bang a girl one night, even if it's their longtime friend, they will start avoiding the girl the next day. <laughs> well, I know that from experience already, seriously. It's because they are awkward and they don't know how to deal with it. So they start avoiding the girl and the girl gets hurt. Yeah, so, I'm not going to go there without. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, the same thing, like, and then uh, I was thinking that David should have really dug that up on you know his past and his exes and all. And I think that's something to ignore, to be honest, because uh, sometimes you never know, right? You know, if your partner changed for the good and you make them rekindle with their ex, they become friends again and then they get together. So, what's past, I think you should just leave it in the past. That's what I was thinking when I saw that scene. Just the past. And so is that like you think you think Elka or Sky is just kind of see receipt with them and they just disappear and kind of ghost them? Is that like hey, yeah, but, really well, yeah, or? but and but maybe made him apologize to her, that girl uh Haley, and so Paxton and Haley kind of rekindled and they became like really close that actually led to Dewey and Paxton's breakup. So that's why I think uh because Haley was posing as an anonymous troll and texting they way like hey i know this guy he's not who you think he is yeah. and then uh yeah paxton told her to leave the troll alone i was also thinking like then you should just block that anonymous user and just ignore but somehow yeah you know what i mean yes. like, okay. yeah. by being itchy fingers and texting the troll back you kind of like ignited your own breakup but for me i think uh What's left in the past is the past. So how many girls he slept with or bang, but he's with you now. So I think you should shouldn't yeah. go touch that. Ask him to rekindle I with his ex. You know, something I wouldn't do. Yeah. The ex is no. That's a no no. That's a no no. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. If you left him, that's it. That's that's in the past now. No no no. Yeah. Goodbye. It was a nice life. I'm out. It's like one kind of thing, you know. Don't do it. It's, 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 you walk on the street, you just can't go. Yeah, exactly. no, moving on, moving on. That's it. Stick it more straight. That's it. Yeah. So, um, well, the show overall it's kind of good. It doesn't only focus on uh Davy's ethnic background. We they have we have other various characters as well. Like we have Paxton, who's uh, half Japanese. Although I'm not sure if he's a good representative for the Japanese community. Oh wow! Good of, representative. He's, no, he's. I'm not sure if he's a good represent for the Japanese community in this form because he starts off as a jerk. But his dad is a Japanese guy. His dad is really nice. Okay. Yeah. Then uh, we have the others as well. Characters from various kind of background. Yeah. Yep. Mm. And uh, so basically, I don't understand why, but every move I watch those kids do, is like I'm psychic. Like I, I know what will happen next. How to predict. <laughs> Yeah, and then internally I'm thinking like, nah, you shouldn't do that. You know, it's going to lead to this and that. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, because once you start doing all that, yeah. you're like, oh, this is going to happen. Yeah, but they still do it. it. And then I'm like, I told you so. I knew this yeah, would don't happen. Don't do it. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if it's from my life experience or what. Like, now that I hit the big yeah. tree, is it from my life experience? I know it's going to end up like this. Like, the friends were been like that part where uh, Paxton and Haley did it even they were good friends for such a long time, and he started ghosting and ignoring her, mm. I knew something like that would happen, because, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, young guys, yeah. if they bang their female close friend, they will start avoiding her the next day, because they don't know how to deal with it, or say, yeah, or talk about it. Weird, yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. That, so yeah, she, yeah, and she, on the other hand, shouldn't expect too much, if it's just a one night stand, because, if, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Yes, it does get weird. I've got to admit, it does get weird. I'm not saying that. Yeah, yeah. It ruins the friendship as well for many years. So, so 
you shouldn't bang a very close friend of the opposite gender mm -hmm. without an explanation if you don't want to ruin the friendship. Especially if you'll see them a lot, but like often it's like, oh, close friend. Yep, unless it's a mutual consentment that is just yes. one kind of thing. As long as both of you agree and that's it, and you're going to be exclusive to get each other, then yeah, you're good to go. Yeah, that, that's why. Yeah. And once you're out of high school, right, you kind of realize that, you know, popularity shit, you know, it doesn't even matter anymore, especially when you go to work. <laughs> it's true. It's like you see all these, these teen dramas and you like say, what are these people doing? It's like it's their whole life in, in the, like a, a drama. Uh, exactly. Like, uh, yeah, not being popular, being a dork in high school seems like the end of the world. That's why I wasn't even popular in school, but you know, it doesn't even impact me now because if you look no. at all the people now, you don't even know where the hell they are. That's exactly. why you, you, you don't remember them. Half the people yeah. you forget who they are half the time. You don't remember half these people. Yeah, exactly. And you know, some of them even suffer when they go to like, uh, like I mean, maybe in the UK we have A levels or university. Yeah. Like, and in America, their college, right after school, is actually a university. Yeah, the mm -hmm. four-year college program, but in the UK it's a three-year uni and maybe two-year A levels. Yeah, 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 so uh, a lot of those popular kids in school, they often suffer psychologically once they get out of high school because they're no longer popular in like A-levels, college or yes. university. Yeah, and they sometimes they have to move across the country like because uh, America is big, the UK is big and all. And because, you know, I remember when I started my university in the UK, um, they're playing those stupid clips during orientation, like some girls complaining like, oh, I used to be so popular in my old school, but now I'm not. I had to move across the country. Oh, I yeah. They're like, dude, what the fuck? You can't. I used to be like, like, oh, yeah, I'm like the yeah, best man like, of all time. And make a new life. It doesn't matter like, who, are you popular or not popular? That's what they definitely expect. You want to be popular. Yes, you yes. You want to be queen B. You want to be the king, queen, come on. Yes, that's apparently yeah. one of my O level schoolmates ended up in A levels. Yeah. So and she was completely different. We were in the same class and she was completely different. Like she used to be Miss Popular, but in A level she was like unpopular. So I'm like, ah, ah, have a taste of your own medicine now. What I used to be in high <laughs> school. Deal with it. Wow, yeah. Tara is firing shots. Like you're exactly. popular now, yeah? Oh, yeah, wow. and there's no chance for popularity in high school because people are from sorry in, in university or college because there are so many different faculties and classes and everything. Yeah. yeah, and even in the workplace, if you're a junior, you're instantly unpopular. So this goes for every new company that you jump into. Only yeah. the seniors are respected and popular. So called popular because they are respected, because they are senior. But if you're a junior staff or new to the company, you kind of have to work your way up. Yeah, you have to, yeah, because you start in a new place. It's like going to a new school, go to a new job. Yeah. Right, right, you start from the bottom. This, this is the popular scale, this is the, this is the levels, and you got to kind of rise to that level a bit over time. And you can kind yeah. Of True. Unless you're a senior or something, then it's easier for you. But if you're just an average staff, then without a senior title, then it's gonna be a bit harder to earn the respect of you know the new colleagues and all. Yeah, stuff. Yeah. Which, so which, which, you you are as well. So like, I guess I mean culture culture plays a big part of it as well. Because in certain areas where you live, like or like what, area, what country you're in, so that kind of plays a bit of a big part as well for where you are. So I guess I don't know how it is. How, how is it where you are? Yeah, so, um, exactly. Are. Yeah. I mean, it is quite bad enough that uh, because there are some fresh graduates. Yeah. In you know, I'm not gonna go into the detail. It was one of no, my yeah, previous yeah, work. Yeah. yeah, one of my previous workplaces. I think you know who I'm talking about, right? Yes. The one I always bitch about. <laughs> Yes, she wanted to be popular in the workplace, but oh, you're a junior, you always lose to the senior. Stuck on that bitch if you're hearing my podcast. <laughs> so we love, love it. This is the story we want to hear. We love this story. We love it. Yes. Love it. There we go. That's yeah, magic there. prize. Yeah, so hard to be popular. Like trying to get in with the seniors, 
the managers, the directors and all, but in the end, it doesn't even matter. <laughs> Try to try and get in there, try to weasel their way to that top, top spot, yeah? Try to weasel their way to the top spot. No one back. really, yeah, no one really cared. Yeah, no one really cared when she left or went to her farewell party. But they all did for me. Everyone turned up at my farewell speech and came from my farewell party because I'm yes. a senior, baby. Yeah. Yes, there we go. There we go. Oh, so I was like, yes, senior, I am. Okay, junior. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> yep. The energy, the hype, I'm loving this right now. It's the power of the full levels right now. I'm not liking it. I was saying, so, yeah, but never ever, ever. Sounds like a good show. I keep mm-hmm. seeing the trailer. I keep seeing the trailer for this show and I never get around to watching it because I'm too busy watching all these Yeah, shows. yeah. I recommend this show, actually. Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Yeah. You say you, you make it sound really good to me. Right? It's just like, so I, I'm, I'm like. Okay, right. yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, I also, I mean, in a way, it's like exploring a different culture because I'm actually used to like uh Japanese American stuff or Korean American yes. stuff, yeah. So in a way, uh, it also gives perspective from an Indian American culture, like her parents are immigrants, so how she struggles with like you know her own culture, her phobby mother, <laughs> her the well the dad wasn't that bad though he was Americanized, but the mom was quite phobby and like trying to be an American as well. Because um, I think maybe uh, her family in India, they were very conservative. Sure. But you no, know, America is different. <laughs> yeah, they're more open to things like, you know, uh, making out, uh, physical intimacy mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. Yeah, probably with the space of affection and stuff like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think she, in a way that she didn't want to be a, loser, a so-called loser. So she wanted to, you know, accept it like, Lose her virginity. Just get out of the way. Just gotta go. Yeah, I'm not one of you now. So yeah, like, exactly. And uh, she actually wanted to until her older cousin Kamala came and advised her things like you only do it when you're emotionally ready. If you rush into it with the guy, you know, I'm not sure about this guy, and he's only gonna hurt you like emotionally. Like, what if he says, you know, what I cannot do this anymore next day, and he just leaves, and he be like, what? <laughs> If you my first time, why the fuck you leave? I mean, honestly, you have to be emotionally prepared for that because when you're young, things, especially the, the guy is young, he's unstable, things like that can happen. Okay, yeah, it's a if you're, you're a woman, you're a man, once you're at that age, yeah, it's tough, it's tough for that age because, uh, yeah, you know, like happening exactly. so fast, you just want to get, like, get it done, like, come on, get out of the way, and just like, you know what I mean, say, mm-hmm. so got that badge of honor, you've done it. Yeah, exactly. And a guy like Paxton, um, I don't yes, think he's stable, you, you know, <laughs> stuff like that may be bound to happen. Yeah, he's a teenage playboy. But playboys don't really settle until their late 30s, so if, yeah, I think it's like, or yeah. even in their 40s. Yeah, they're late 30s, 40s, that's the exactly Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's for real, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, so no, obviously the early days are kind of getting their, getting their money up. Then it wants to get that money to a certain level and it could go boom, go all out. Yeah, exactly. I've seen cases where like uh I don't know how to say this, but uh apparently according to Ben, I from what I know men don't like their one night stand keep coming back. Wait, say that again? I think last time Ben uh you know when he labeled the cops bright as the annoying one night stand that keeps coming back. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So from there, I I just learned that uh, guys do not like a one night stand who keeps coming back. <laughs> yeah, it's just, if it's a, if it's an agreement that like you kind of made or you didn't yeah, make a decision, yeah. then you kind of like, oh man, they're gonna they're gonna come back because yeah. some, people like some people are like that, so they just go with them. And they come back, and then it's just like, oh my god, oh, they come back again. It's just one thing for yeah. one, one nice. What? Recently in real life, I saw this happen, and I heard the girl was like, uh, pretty aggressive. She kept coming on to him. I think you know who is it. I'm not gonna say the name of here. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the reason he's um like, okay, yeah. Uh, that's 
say that word. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna say. Oh, keep that yeah, power. so my friends are like, oh yo, I think he actually banged her based on their behavior. He kept avoiding her, and she kept coming on to him, like following him like a puppy everywhere. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, it happens. So you see some people. It's like, so uh, oh, I was gonna say something, but yeah, but I work, so that's what it's certain stuff that happens. That happens. But I guess I ain't go too deep. I ain't go too deep into that. Where I work, I'm not gonna do it. But um, but yes, something similar. Yes, something similar. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So overall, I haven't finished watching the show yet, but uh, I have five more episodes to go. I'm stuck at the part where Ben Cross. Oh wait! I just realized <laughs> Davy's rival's name is also named Ben. Uh, they, so you just said it as well. So I'm like Ben. I'm like Ben in this. Ooh, his name is also Ben. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah where's his name I'm actually looking for it I don't know where it went but oh it's in the storyline <laughs> yes it's actually called Benjamin but he's called Ben so yes I'm at the part where he actually gets a colon problem he he hadn't shit for 16 days oh, so wow. he had a colon problem and Paxton had to carry him to the hospital and sit and uh, accompany him while they digged out the shit because the hospital procedure required a legal adult to be there and Benjamin's oh. parents were in Arizona, Phoenix in Arizona. Yeah. And his babysitter was out of reach. So Paxton was like, I'm already 18, so I can uh, uh, be an adult that accompanies him. So... <laughs> I can take the while you. I can accompany him while they take the shit out. Something like that. Yeah, it's so like I, I'm at oh. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what the heck is that? Oh my god. I'm not supposed to shit for more than two weeks though. It's just like you should shit every day. Like. Yeah, it should be a thing that we have to wash your body out. So yeah, exactly. So I don't, I don't get why people. Two week and two weeks like that's weird to me. Huh? What what's happening? What's happening there? That's yeah, even if it's three days, I'll be alarmed. To be honest. Yeah, even three days is long long for me. It has to be like in the day because like you're you're eating, you're eating during the day, so obviously you need to release the waste. You know what I mean? It's the waste of the day with what you've eaten. It needs to go through your body. <laughs> wash wash out next day. Wash out. That's how it goes. So it's such a lot. How we? Um, but um, yeah, so never ever ever. Tara sold me on this show. <laughs> yeah, this is actually the entire show. Because there's only two of us on the podcast. Okay, now I'm actually done with my pick, so uh, you yeah. may proceed. All right, I will proceed. All right. Yeah. With all, all the right. time, because there's only two of us. Uh, no, 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 the night does nice as well. Right? This doesn't even need to be a long podcast because Tara, this, this, is, this is Tara's episode right now. This is Tara's episode. I'm just here. I'm just here. Yeah, I'm trying to think of ways to all life, to be honest. <laughs> no, no, that, that was perfect. That was perfect. That was, that was excellent. That was phenomenal. That was, that was, oh, perfection right there. I loved it. So, me, I forgot to talk about Sandman again, but I'm going to talk about Pretty Little Lies first. I'm going to talk about mm, okay. Pretty Little Lies. So, show. That's been been out for a while now. I know everyone's like, Pretty Little Liars, what are you doing, Troy? What is going on? But mm-hmm. um, this is one of the uh, great shows ever made. This, this season is incredible. Anyone mm-hmm. seen Gossip Girl? Mmm, Gossip Girl. This whole, this one season that I've seen, reminds me of Gossip Girl, the XOXO, that kind of thing. Yeah. It's Trauma, you know. I loved it. Yes. So we have, it initially came out, when did it actually come out? This uh, came out 2010, I think it's when it originally came out. Uh, but um, three girls, so Spencer, Emily, Aria, and mm-hmm. Hannah. So they're like the, and all, all, they're, the, they're the core four in this, in this show. So they're the, they're the four um, girls we're following in the show. And they had a fifth called Allison. So, mm-hmm. they're, they're the four you're following. So as I said before, yeah, and you have a girl called Allison. So she is 
dead. So spoiler alert. So it's not really a spoiler, but she's dead in the show. Apparently she's dead. I don't know if she's going to die for the whole entirety of the show. But the season one that I've seen, that's what's happening right now. She's, she's supposed to be dead. And they're, they're all backtracking and trying to live their lives and trying to find out what happened to Alice. So literally right now, oh my gosh, twists and turns, affairs. You know, sometimes it's happening because you have a the girl called Arya. She, I think, technically she's like, I think she's like make out. But obviously, she's a co-star, but she can technically make out we're following the most. Um, she is having an affair with her teacher. This is this is this is the prime example of a teacher man for Patara. It's a prime example. She, she's a gone out of a teacher. Name's called Ezra. Is the English teacher, and they hit it off. So they have literally having an affair through the whole season. Um, twists and turns. This guy um, um, met a woman a while back. Uh, was about to be married to this woman. Uh, never happened. Um, and then she gets jealous. And da, 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 da. that kind of thing happens for, for Arya's character. So I'm going to break it down for each character. So Arya's one, and then you have Hannah. Hannah, the quintessential uh, it girl, I'd say, of this story. Um, the, the popular girl, you know what I'm saying? The one who has, uh, has the money, has the blonde hair, the blue eyes, you know. That kind of thing, that trope. The blonde hair, blue eyes trope of the, the popular girl. As someone was talking about earlier on in um, Never Have Ever, the popular girl. Um, but she hasn't slept with anyone yet. So she said, Ooh, okay. she has to know what, so. so that's like a big thing in the show. So they're kind of, um, people are kind of saying, Have you done, the, done it yet? Have you done it? She's like, <laughs> she's like, pretend that she's done it, but she hasn't done it. Uh, so that's, that's that kind of thing for that kind of character. And um, we have Emily, who's kind of uh, the, the swimmer. Um, and she is very popular herself. She's like the, the, the jock type. She's the female jock of, the, of this group. You know what I'm saying? She's the female jock. Uh, she can do everything. She does it all. She's, she's athletic. She's smart. That kind of thing. And what people don't know that she's a closet lesbian. No one knows. Closet lesbian, you know what I'm saying? That kind of ties into this, the storylines that's going on as well. Mm -hmm. Stuff happens, you see her with dirty shoes. You see her kind of go out from time to time. Where is she going? So I was kind of suspicious that she had something to do with it. What happened to Alison, you know what I'm saying, with, with her death? Because in the middle of the, of the season, she, um, has a little thing with Alison. But Alison played her and said, we, no, I don't like you like that. Well, you're just practice for the people that I actually want to go out with. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. Alison is a savage. Alison is a straight savage. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, okay, okay. You knew, I, I was like, once I heard that, I was like, okay, I mean, I was, mm -hmm. Emily, did, Emily did it. But um, she's but, um, I don't know because yeah, um, the mystery is still ongoing. Because all of these um these girls they have text mm -hmm. messages coming from. Oh, them. okay, okay, I see. A, and it's making them do things, or they might get attacked by this person called A. But we don't know if it's one person, two people, or even three people. We don't know. It's kind of like a scream situation as well. That scream. So we don't know this person is. That's why I, I um likened it to. Uh, gossip girl because they were XO, XO, that kind of text message type of thing. They do that with this show. Um, and this has become so um, of a, a trope now. This this is this one of these shows that kind of led the way for these kind of teen dramas now because that was, that was like the early days. So we had about two spin offs that kind of got cancelled. But this new one that just came out, the original Sin. I was talking to her, talking about this year off, off camera. So literally, this show has started so that the, the vampire, that kind of thing, like vampire diaries, originals, that kind of thing. You know, mm -hmm. so yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're the people in the trunk where everyone looks old and they what they, they look like. That's what it's supposed, supposed to be. I feel personal. Why does a person look 30 and a pain a 15 year old? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The actors are all in their 20s at that time. Mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm like, what the heck is? I'm like, how is this possible? Americans are the only ones who can get away with this. 
In, in the UK, they could not get rid of this kind of thing. They, they couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't do it because they're not to get age appropriate. Indirectly, you're saying uh, British people do not age gracefully. <laughs> Oh my god, I feel so bad because I, 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 I was a black guy, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I age pretty slow, you know what I'm saying? So, hey. But all of English, the English race, English people, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough over here because we look age appropriate. So, if it's the age, but if it's Americans, they're literally like, they're, they're, you can tell you can tell they're older as well. If you, you can tell it, they're like, they're like tall giants. I'm like, what are these? Yeah. Are these big, big grown people, like five o'clock shadows? Legit, <laughs> just took a shave. Like that, they just had a beard. You could totally just had a beard. And they walked into school. It's like, what the heck are you dating these girls? Like these under, kind of underage girls. Even the, even the girls are like bigger as well. They have massive hair and they, they they're tall. They're like, what is this? But at the same time, you just kind of believe you. Like, okay, this is American culture. We just we just go in there. We just watch these shows and enjoy it. So that's that's that kind of thing. You know what I mean? So hey, this is this is American culture. Um, and we have, um, as I said before, Scream, we have killers running around. We have a person called Ian, um, who literally just, uh, he's like the jock of like the, the men's side of the um, equation. We see a few um, male characters kind of embrace this show. Uh, but it's not really about them. They're kind of just in the show to kind of like, play off the female leads, uh, kind of bounce off of, to kind of give them um, side quests while the original story about A is going on. Um, but yes, yeah, it's, uh, it's a really good show. Season one I've seen right now. People, people keep saying, "Don't go past uh, t- uh, season one, two, please don't go past it because it starts to go downhill." But I don't know, we'll see. Right now is the perfect show. Right now, it's it's really good. Season one is solid. Mm-hmm. And uh, yes, we are the liars. Woo! I love this show. This is this okay. show. Right I don't know why I went back there. I don't know why I went back to. I don't, I don't know, but but I did it. I did it. I took the plunge. I went back and I'm flipping love it. So heck yeah. Oh. Also, I want to take a quick do a quick update before, before I finish up. Uh talk about the Sandman. Oh my Sandman. Have you seen the Sandman oh, yet? Yes, yes. I saw I saw you finished it. it. You finished it. it. Rain. Yeah, there's two episodes. The Gregory, the Gargoyle was so cute, but it had to die. Oh yeah. He had little oh. eyes, big eyes. You just look at the Sandman and be like, Am I gonna die? Dude, I need to kill a couple, not poor Gregory. I know, not Gregory. Hey, and Abel's there, like, no, please, please, not Gregory. Not Gregory, please. Yeah, or, or the, yeah, or the person I don't like, she can be in that show just to be, yeah, fodder. <laughs> yeah. This year, this year, literally, his dream is like, so I'm sorry. It's exorbed poor Gregory into himself. And I was like, oh my gosh, so yeah, I think all um, Gregory just to gain a little bit of power to dream. Um, but yeah, this is um, that's the Sandman. This that is a great yep. show. Oh my gosh, I'm totally two episodes in, but once you get once you get past the episode, it gets into the end sequence. So, so how are you liking it so far? By the way, who's been last? Not bad. Yeah, I watch Korean subtitles because I'm practicing my Korean. Oh, nice. I'm Hangul reading speed. Yeah. Ah, okay. Korean, why are you actually watching that? I like that, I like that. I like that. But, um, yeah, so who's your favorite character so far in these two episodes? Who's your favorite character? So I don't have a favorite character so far. You have, you have one, okay. You're just kind of just going through it. Oh, like, okay. Yeah. I'll tell you what I like. I like Gregory. Okay. <laughs> you like Gregory? Yeah, he's so cute. Oh, no, no. I saw it. I was like, initially, I was watching my family. My family was like, oh, man. <laughs> like, oh, why do you have to kill Gregory? And I was like, yeah, no. It's, it's, yeah, I was watching the train on the way to work. I'm like, yo, this is animal abuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah, I was like, oh, tough, oh sorry, Grace. Sorry, Gregory. So when you, you try, oh yeah, yeah. K and Abel, oh, obviously the biblical references right there. But K and Abel, they kind of just appear. They have some references like, in the show like this, so. Which you can believe because he's a uh, king of dreams, Morpheus. Um, so. It makes sense for the biblical characters in this show because he's like an abstract being. He's just, almost a celestial at this point, you know what I mean? So he's kind of like a higher higher power, higher being. Yeah. In, in this show, so it makes sense to the people he runs into in the show. So it makes sense. And uh, yeah, um, at this point, who is my favorite character at this point? I like Lucien. I like Lucien. Yeah, oh. I like, yeah, I like Lucien. 
the library. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, me, uh, yeah, no offense, but uh, I was actually wondering with the guy or girl because of the hair. Yeah, the short hair. She has the short hair trim. That's why she dresses like a loop. Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, not for her, but uh, I know some girls like, yeah, I was wondering if they're a guy or girl because of her hair. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, they're short, short. Um, no, 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 she just go, but she's like, this she's just dressing that kind of thing. But mm. yeah, uh, she's she's solid. I love, I love, I love her character work. She's all doing uh, the dream. He does, he does his, he does his thing. Uh, he does, he does his thing, the dream. Sam, mm -hmm. does his thing. He's a really good actor. You know what I'm saying? And the way he, I read about the way he got in shape for the role, and I was like, oh my days, he's hardly any for the role because literally he had to like do intense training. You see how thin he is, but it's tight muscle. But you see, it's thin, but it's quite oh, yeah. tight. Yeah, but it's more of a lean kind of muscle. Yeah, exactly. Very lean. Yeah, Very lean. lean. Yeah, lean is like, you know, a bit uh, slimmer, but somehow he has yeah. muscles. And, and then you have the bulky titty man, who mm. I think why they bulk. How, how do they bulk up? Like, I, 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 The thing is, uh, I'd rather go more lean than bulky. Because I know because people in my family, they, they, they're yoked. They're, they're huge because they're, 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 um, they're very muscular in my family. Mm. Oh yeah, so I, I could if I, if I if I went all out like training properly, I could I'll be huge. But I don't mm. want to go too big. I want to be like a, a slim. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to be massive like that. I don't I don't want that bulk. You know what I'm saying? When you can't you go to sleep, just chop yourself out. Like, oh, 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 yeah. I don't go that big. But um, yeah, I'd rather go somewhere like similar to what the dreams got going on, but a little bit a little bit more bulky. I don't go too skinny. But yeah. um, Bruce Lee level is that like, tight muscle, so I want tight muscle. Well, uh, Google the guy who's the actor. Yeah. His name is Tom Sturridge. Yeah, Tom Sturridge. Right, right? That's him. Yeah, yeah, Tom. Ah, right. okay, okay, yes. Yeah, and he even said he didn't eat that much. He had a strict training regime because he had to be because he had went to look slim like the character in the in the, in the book, the comics. So he's Ooh. very slender, very slender. So that's why. So he tried to kind of like make him a little bit more muscular, but keep still keep the slenderness when he did it. He so, kind of looks like yeah, like a, a green day. He does. He does. <laughs> yeah, Billy like, Joe. If Billy Joe Armstrong was in a fantasy <laughs> movie, kind of. He is. He literally, literally looks like similar to that green day crew. He does. But um, yeah, man. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, in one scene he looks a bit like Edward Cullen. Oh, I think he's pale. The pale face, the makeup, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's true. The makeup, yeah, I, I, I can see you on the makeup. I can see you on the yeah, makeup. the pale makeup, you know, to look like Edward Cullen or Billy Joe Armstrong. Oh, Billy Joe Armstrong. That's that's a long time since I've heard that word. I haven't seen Green at least Green Day in a while, a long time. Oh, my mm -hmm. Green Day, I'm oh, I don't want to be an American idiot. <laughs> I'm a fucking you believe me. American idiots are you believe. Oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, the, the same man. Both the episodes incredible. All and each episode is some little story going on with the dream trying to get his his art his items back from throughout most of the season. I, I loved it the way the past that he goes to the the people that he goes to see in the realms of the beyond. That's love. I love. I love seeing stuff like that. But um, yeah, Sam, uh, ten episodes. As I said before, season one. I just want to finish it off. It's so good, so good. I think literally finished Sam. Um, awesome. So that's Free Little Lies, Sam. Man. So that's me done. So mm -hmm. yeah. So, so that's uh, me done on my picks. <laughs> so. Da, 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 da. I mean, so uh, we have had good days today. We have been um chilling out because um, over here in the UK, it is a heat wave. Oh shit! You know the heat wave every day here. I'm sweating. I know where Tara is. It's a heat wave every day for her. It's a normal yeah. day. Yeah. Yeah. But I turned on my air conditioner, so the bills must cost the bomb. But I don't <laughs> <Yeah>. care. <laughs> so I was like, whatever. I will be cool. I know what I'm saying. I will like, okay, man, I don't care. So what? My plan died. Dehydration. What? I think nobody watered it because I was in the office like every day. I thought my housemates would water it, but nobody yeah. did. And I think it was so hot, it bites Oh, me. no. Oh, jeez. bad because I plant was happy to come home with me, but it died. 
Oh no, I've got it's that. Oh. Like die oh i'm not buying another one yeah yeah i say don't say die it's just like yeah just don't yeah don't even bother buying another one I, i'm just like if it happens once first time don't yeah i'm just not nah, don't do it again that's that's me as well once everyone dies like when i had like animals when i was younger so i want to see that i'm like nah, i'm not buying another one it's like no stay away from me i don't know i get too, too sad get too sad when they when they die i'm like nope no, i can't do it can't do it but yes yeah, so that's this i was done so yes so do you do you want to shield your YouTube channel for us. Yes, many titties bouncing mm. well padded mentities from uh one ho especially. Speaking mm. of which, I think one ho is gonna enlist in the military, South Korean military this year because he's 29. Oh, so, okay, South Korean military. Oh, so I'm not very happy because why must North Korea cause North Korea and mainland China cause communism in the East Asian area, the Northeast Asian area, so bad that a few countries like Taiwan and South Korea need to have their own military for defense. And, and this every able-bodied male and raise two years of their life Oh, okay. yeah, because some places are mandatory for military. It's like in Israel. Like you have to yes, yeah. Active, yeah. yeah, active war zone. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, we have two communist bastards in Northeast Asia. <laughs> because of that, yeah. oh. two of its neighbors need to waste oh. two years of their yeah. male population's life. Oh and now one hole is gonna be shelved for two years and I don't know where to find a new titty man, yo. It's just fucking sad. <laughs> it's just like stop taking my titty man. Stop taking the yes, problem. The South Korean government will take my titty man, <laughs> my main revenue driver titty man away for two years, thanks to the commie bastards in North Korea and China. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. Tara's going in. She's going in right now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. What are you doing over there, Korea? What is happening? Yeah. Speaking of which, have you guys watched Carter on Netflix? What's it called? Carter. C A R T E R. No, but I will. But I will check it out because I have seen. Okay. Okay. Oh so, uh, it's kind of the camera is wobbly. So this naked buff city man with a tattoo, uh, Korean guy he wakes up in a hotel oh. american agents the cia surrounding put your hands up you're under arrest by the fbi federal bureau investigation of the united states of america and then um he has no memory but he's covered in a pool of blood and the disgusting oh. thing is that he has this cross stitching at the back of his head oh yeah i see, I see the poster it's fucking disgusting i didn't want me to it there oh my gosh and yeah so um this titty man, and then he hears a voice in flutter in his head, which actually turns out to be his wife. <laughs> so <laughs> he what? runs, yeah, he runs and escapes. He kills American agents on the way until one of them come up to him and like, aren't you Michael Bain? After a DNA test, like, who the hell is Michael Bain? Like, who the hell is Michael Bain? So, so this oh, guy, Michael Bain, that's, that's this laptop. Yeah, he's from, yeah. like, he's from like, Asia or something like that. He's yeah. Asian. Yeah, so, this guy from the CIA comes out and says, um, okay, so this guy, main character, Carter, Carter Lee, basically you, he was born in South Korea, immigrated to the US when he was 11, went to an American university, became an American citizen, and in 2014 traveled to North Korea as an aspire undercover journalist, and somehow became, and somehow became a naturalized citizen of the DPRK. Why? Is it because of all those socialist bullshit they taught you at whatever uni? <laughs> yeah, so I understand who the fuck would become a, a citizen of the fucking communist bastard. <laughs> so. Oh well, <laughs> basically, he traveled to North Korea. Uh, yeah. The stupid party found out that he's a spy from America. Yeah. And. Uh, they kind of made he made this officer from the North Korean army like watch over him, which is a lady. 
So, but he soon fell in love with the lady and the party ordered them to have a daughter. So, in this show, there is a disease, like zombie-like disease. And uh, whoever gets it will act like a zombie and their hair will completely fall out. So, it's a bit gnarly, especially if they recover. So, and, and you know, the fucking North Korean bastard commander went and inject their daughter. Because the three of them are there, like, we want to leave the country because of the virus. Then the North is like, no, you need to bring this doctor from the South, the one who made the cure and cure us all. Who cares about communism? <laughs> it's in the communist faith in the communist. You don't bring it to the South. Seriously. And then um, then the three of them were like, your cattle wife and daughter was like, let us go. We really did. And this stupid fucking communist North, bus, North Korean buster takes out a syringe and quickly injects their daughter with the virus and then she gets it. Like, what the fuck, bro? She's only a kid. What are you going on with that? I'll, I'll go check this out. I'll go see this. It's communism. Merciless and heartless. Oh my god, I'll see this in the car. I'll check it out. Out. Literally yeah. End. So I was really confused when I watched the show. Like, is he a North Korean, a South Korean? How come the US is involved and they're all chasing him? In the end, I found out that he was only used and manipulated by North Korea. The stitching at his back was how they erased his memory. Oh, okay. and, yeah, he was manipulated to bring this South Korean doctor into North Korea to cure the plague. And uh, the real bad guy here is North Korea. So the scene ends where a train, uh, a train carrying the infected to a lab or something with their to the well to their best friend China. So after that, uh, um, you know the train kind of like explodes so and falls into the river. So that's like a cliffhanger. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so you want a sequel? You want a sequel to call? That's what. Yeah. yeah. So the real bad guy in the show is North Korea, as always. Call me. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's so like that breakdown with times. Hey, I'm watching this movie, Carter. I'm checking it out. But who the weekend. fuck injects a child with virus? Hey, Resident Evil, what's happened? Okay. <laughs> oh my god, trust me, happens. It's you see villains, the villains don't do anything. They just want to get something injection of child <sighs> real quick. This what you got me. So, hey, so. We're done right now, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show I'm gonna show mine Legends of Vault 101 on YouTube. There we go from the movie reviews, reactions, a pop culture talk. Hey, whatever you want to talk about, I'm over there. Just hey, check me out. Go do it. Um, so as you know, Square Eye Syndrome. All the information is gonna be in the description box below. We're not gonna show it to you. That's all in the description box below. There you go down there. Wait, Tari, did you give your YouTube channel? Did you give it? Um, yeah. Uh, Chloe's channel is just in the link in the description below. It's ah, yes. man. Oh, the titty man. Oh, yes. I now I want to get my titty woman also. But anyways, uh, <laughs> this is uh, me. Trust me, trust me, you're tired. We've got a whole pack going on right now. So, hey, the, 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 the titty lord is coming. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should do the documentary. Find my titty man and titty woman. Yes, it's coming. So, she's going to be the first. And then we're help each other out. Yeah, no, it goes. No, it goes. So, uh, since this is us done, yes. So we're gonna leave you right now. Um, with Tara's face, you know, the North Korea, the North Korea bug right now. So, hey, you want to get out anyone North Koreans? Be careful, be careful. I mean, I don't hate the normal civilians there, <laughs> those defectors who escape and all. I don't blame them. Nobody wants none of them wants to go, want to go back actually. If you read, read their stories. Yeah, I don't blame the normal citizens, but I blame the fucking party for throwing their socialist bullshit. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you read the history of the Korean War, you would know exactly what happened. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we look at that right now. Yes, we can go into North Korea, but we're going to do all that tonight. So, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from me. And yes. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs>